Bouncing ball to shortstop. Maripone is there, throw to first. Got him, double play, 6-4-3. Turn up the middle. Shortstop Kyle Mer Merritkins. See a soft ground ball, really tough to turn these. He does a nice job of getting the flip. Easy turn. Well done. I think we've seen one strike that has been for me, in the strike zone. Mm -hmm. You know, the first two were a couple inches out. The slider was down. He's just trying to get those couple inches off the plate, and he's just not getting them to end the at-bat. Challenge them there. Flair down the right field line. If it's fair, it's trouble. It is. It'll rattle around in the corner. Rounding third and coming home is Skips. And the Mustangs are on the board first. It's one nothing Cal Poly. RBI triple for Scott Ogren, the second baseman, a great at bat. Well, we've seen a lot of fastballs, one fastball in. This one catches a little bit of plate, but was still a really good pitch down in the zone. He just did a great job of staying inside of it, fights it off. And it's cooling off right here tonight. It, uh, that ball carried pretty well. Elijah Skip scores, scores easily from first base. A lot of good things to offer here at this program. Squaring, drops it down. Here comes the runner from third. The throw there is wide of the mark. He gets all the way to the backstop. Run scores. Runners will be at second and third. That looked to be another safety squeeze, or else Ogren's just not getting a very good jump at third base, but it's a really nice spot down the first baseline. A little bit of a push, keeps it away from Bayoun. Huey comes up here, has it, can't get the ball out of his glove, tries to shovel, option play, and... Um, we saw Leonard Jones earlier, the designated hitter. He and Santino Rivera were high school teammates back in Chula Vista, California. Payoff pitch, popped up right side. Samuelson giving chase, and has to lunge back to make the grab. Tagging up on the play. Here comes the throw to third. Out of there. Double play. Stockler got a little greedy. And a third out at third base. A little three to five double play. Mike, you see those all the time. Nice pop up. Great job tagging up, tagging up on the foul ball. Obviously, that was put on by Long Beach State. Either the second baseman will flash a sign or the catcher will put down the sign that, hey, we're having to pick off at second base. Bayoun will turn, look at second base, come back to home plate, spin back and make the throw, and the second baseman should be there. Meyer strokes one. Ricochets off the glove of Robinson and goes all the way near the left field corner. A run will score on the play. An RBI double for Meyer. And Cal Poly continues to get to Zach Bayoun, now leading it three to nothing. Great piece of hit. 3 1 breaking ball and just smokes the ball down the third base. Gets a piece of it, but. Uh, Knocks it down enough, it's not gonna. I got no chance of getting the runner in one plate. And we got another runner at second base. We can throw the guy out at first base, giving the runner easy access to third base. You have to try to bunt it to the other side, you bunt it to the first base, and then he's got a better chance of getting the runner at third. It's a perfect punt, and it's gonna end up doubly good. And now the runner breaks for home, and he's out. Costly gamble by Robinson. They would have had him at the corners with nobody out. And a great strike to home plate by Samuelson. Well, really nice bunt to start off. Here's the bunt. Really nice job. Really soft bunt. Pitcher fields it. Shelton fields it. Does the only thing he knows to do, which is to fire at first base. Not sure if there's a little bit of a collision. But the ball comes off. Great play. Nor should he have. 2-2, Two -two, bounced weakly to second. Charging is over in. He'll apply the tag, and then he stumbled before he could make the throw. He did not apply the tag, and we're going to have an argument here. No, he tagged him with the glove, and he had the ball in his hand. 
Oh, great call by the second base umpire. Ogren tagged him with the glove. Tagged him with the glove. Great job of base running. You can't uh, you can't go backwards. You don't want to give up the double play where he throws it to the first base. So here it is again, slow ground ball. Ogren comes up. Great base running. Just hit the brakes, get down, make him you know, oh, yeah. trying to buy the runner some time. But you can see he tags him with the glove and he's getting ready to he's already thinking about making the throw. Right. Well, you got an open base. You can be a little bit less than aggressive in the strike zone here. You can throw a breaking ball or something. There's a little cut fastball. To shortstop, here. throws coming home, and he's got him. Great play by Marin Kimes to prevent a run. Well, that was a 3-2 cut fastball or slider. Trent Shelton threw a great pitch. Marin Kimes. Looks like he got a little off balance on the on the play. Not sure what happened, but he came up and threw a dart. But there at home plate, here it is again. You can see him gets a little bit off to the side, which is really weird. But he came up and made a perfect strike to home plate. Well, because of like you mentioned, bang bang play at home plate. Because of that, he had to fire that throw. The fly ball to left field. Villa Lobos trying to minimize the damage here. This could be two, four, six, three twin killing run scores, but you'll gladly take the two outs there for the run. Cal Poly back on top, four to three. Taking care of business, 0 2 every once in a while just to keep the hitters honest. Once a pitcher, always a pitcher. Mm. That one gets by the catcher, Jimenez, and another run will score. So just as you minimize the damage, a wild pitch will gift wrap another run, and it's now 5-3 Mustangs. I think that might be the first slider we've seen out of Bill Lobo. And I wouldn't even call that a spike. It looked like he just kind of flew open a little bit, held onto it too long. <laughs> There's a slider down and away. Left-handed batter's box, really very little chance for Jimenez to get to that ball. Ooh, Here we go back to the 0-2 pitch in college baseball, and it's a big one. A very big one here indeed. This is where, as a reliever with a breaking ball and a tying run on third base, more oftentimes than I care to remember, uh, you really trust your catcher. If you're going to throw a breaking ball in the dirt, you really trust your catcher. Got him. Outside corner, strike three. And you can see Duran right there was frozen. He was expecting some sort of breaking ball, something off speed, not to be attacked with a fastball down and away. And uh, great job of framing. Nick Meyer again being just a stud back behind the plate tonight. That's good. I used to be good at this. Mike. I used to be able to you know, pitch sequence. And well, you know a thing or two about saves as the all-time Orioles saves leader. And a save on the line for Matt Ahrens. Another 2-2. Got him! Cal Poly wins it 5-4. As Long Beach leaves the bases loaded, Matt Ahrens his first career save. Welcome to the Big West, freshman. That was awesome right there. Two strikeouts. Leaves the bases loaded. He just came in and just raw fastballs and stuff. See, he nibbled the fastballs away, fastballs away, and then he finally just said, you know what, let's go. High fastball, really hard for a hitter to lay off of. Matt Aarons arrives on the scene with Cal Poly. Perhaps a star is born tonight, and Matt Aarons, Cal Poly, meanwhile, continues to hit the baseball well. And let's go back to Trent Shelton, because... He's the young man who worked seven and two thirds. He only gave up two earned runs. Once again, he didn't walk anybody. He was the story of the night on the mound. He was the story. He threw he just pumped the strike zone, uh, gave up eight hits, but kept Cal Poly in the game. You know, struggled for one or two innings, but uh, for the most part, it's a bunch of zeros that I'm looking at on the board. Entertaining ball game to say the least.